Hi, in this demo, let's take a look at how we can protect sensitive information when we use Power BI to consume data from the database with the NextLabs DAE solutions. We are going to have a look at two scenarios here. Scenario one, where we dynamically perform data segregation as well as data masking on sensitive information. Here, the user John Tyler has full admin privileges on the database. When he tries to query the results from the table t bound copy, which contains backing information, he's only allowed to view records with bank codes QA and AT. Also, if the bank L field has the value B and Q, we are going to apply a selective mask on the IBAN codes. And in use case two, we are going to control the crude operations on the data selectively. The same user, John Tyler, who has admin privileges, can only update or delete the records with the bank key QA and AT. And he's not allowed to manipulate any other records. So in order to do that, let me first jump to the uh, control center where we deploy the policies. So if you see here, I have uh, two policies here. One policy which controls the data masking, which controls the data view uh, technically, and other policy which controls the crude operations on update and delete, right? So let me take an example of the data that's being masked right now, right? So I have a policy which says, which basically uh, represents the table t uh, copy one, where when a user is trying to select, it's going to be conditionally performing some filters where you can see that the banks is equal to QA or banks equal to AD data is going to be filtered. And as well as the data masking is going to be applied on the mask symbol, where the B A N K L column consists the value Q, Q and B. So now let's log into the Power BI tool. So I'm, I'm going to connect to the database server now. And let me just choose the direct query mode. So we can see that uh, we have the data model UA7 here. And when the query is deployed, you can see that the data is being filtered here, right? And you can see that the user can only see uh, data where a bank's equal to 80 and it is QA. And even in that, the IBAN symbol is being masked with the asterisk symbol as designed in the policy. So let me just quickly jump to the policy here. So if you see a B and Q, Q and B and banks equal to QA or AT, the mass symbol is going to be asterisk for this uh, IBAN table. So if you see here, in all the rows where the data is Q and B, the mask is being applied as per the policy. So now let me try to execute an update or a, a delete a function on the same table. And let's see how the policy behaves for this, how the policy can control this. Now I'm going to run an uh, update statement on some of the records for which the user is not allowed to modify. So I have an update uh, table, uh, tban underscore copy one, where b and k equal SSS and where banks is equal to d, right? Let me try to e execute the statement. You can see that zero records are affected, right? That's because the user is not allowed to change the records where this particular conditions have been deployed. So now let me get to the policy just to make sure that we are in line with the operation. So you can see here in this policy, so this is a control on the update and delete. So it's for the user here, who, uh, department has research and the table that's being protected is tban copy one and uh, the actions that the user is being protected for is update and delete. Right. If you see here uh, in the predicate condition, so where banks equal to QA or banks equal to AD. So that means the user is only allowed to update the records where the bank's values contain either QA or AD. So now let me try to uh, execute uh, the function for QA or AD. So let me jump to the system again. Okay, it's going to be the same system. So here I'm defining the particular criteria for AT for which the user should be allowed. Let me try to execute the statement now. You can see that number of records uh, being affected is one. That means it has affected one of the rows as per the statement. So uh, with policies, now you can seamlessly control what the user can see and also provide conditional masking based on the data sensitivity, as well as control the different users operations like update and delete on sensitive data sets. This concludes the demo for the Power BI uh, DAE Enforcer.